Hey guys, welcome back to my episode 22 review of Sword Art, Lon Sword Art Online. We're getting pretty close to the finale here. Three more episodes, three more weeks. And remember that last finale episode comes out, I believe, on the 22nd, the day after the Mayan prediction. The end of the world. So if they were right, we're not going to see the finale. If they were wrong, we're going to get to see it. Uh, just in case, remember to rent your local helicopter and or, you know yacht to live so then you can watch that final episode anyway let's move on to the actual content of the episode Kirito gets a key card from Asuna which is going to be later used to f probably uh, well definitely free Asuna and probably free the rest of the other 299 captives in this experiment now other than that, Kirito decides to head to the base of the world tree and f you know, go into the raid room to fight whatever's in there. And um, whole raids have not been able to complete this, and he just goes in there solo because he's a boss like that. And basically, all these sentinels come out. That first one came out, I'm like, okay, he must be strong, but then he gets rid of them pretty quick. And then all these things come out and just start to fuck him up. So I'm like, uh, he's not going to live. So... But he's doing pretty well. He's cutting through these guys like butter, just like that one dude. And um, really using them tactically, using them as weapons themselves, throwing them, and using his own body to deflect incoming blows. That arm right there, cut off almost. And he's moving on up, and then he gets hit by a light arrow. Uh, and I'm like, oh shit, new enemy. So he turns around, and there's a quite, like, a bunch of these things, maybe 100, 200, a lot more, and I'm like, oh, great, and then they all fire their light arrows, and I'm like, oh, shit, 300 much? <laughs> their arrows are going to blot out the sun, bitch, and so he gets hit with a bunch of them, and, you know, then swords impale him, and there's no way he's going to survive, so he dies, and he has a 600 seconds till resurrection time is over, or till he can resurrect. And uh, so Kirito was thinking this whole time brute strength is going to be enough, but it's not. You need skill and you need status and definitely need tactics, though he was doing pretty well for a while. Um, but still, he's dead. And he thinks back to his old playing style for Sal, which was just brute strength and soloing, and it doesn't look like that's going to work here. I think his death put that into perspective for him. So anyway, Lifa attempts to save Kirito, and by save I mean pick up his flaming dead body outline of a grave marker, and uh, because the reason she did this is if he'd respond, he wouldn't respond in Arun, he'd respond wherever, hell of far away, and get to make that whole journey to there again. So she picks him up, which I thought was cool, and revives him. When she, like, clicked open the inventory, I'm like, what? You can open dead people's inventories and steal their shit? And take and she took a potion to revive them? I'm like, oh, no way. That just doesn't seem fair. And I, you know, if you thought that too, hey, I thought that too. But um, I looked closer and I saw, oh, it says Leafa's inventory. So, yeah. It was her inventory and um, she revived him. Because stealing shit from a dead body, just, that wouldn't be fair. <clears throat> Yet I wouldn't have been surprised either. Anyway, Lifa finds out that Kirito is her brother cousin, and um, Sugu can't believe it, and she's just heartbroken and logs out. Sugu believes that <clears throat> the reason Kirito quit Kendo is because she he found out that they weren't siblings, and she thinks he avoided her for that, which could be true. We didn't really get any insight on Kirito's side this time. So... You know, I I understand a little more where she's coming from and why she has this love for her cousin. Um, it 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 so it might not have been like we thought, uh, like she was just plain weird and in love with him. She has reason. She has motive uh, for feeling this way, and she you know she just wanted her cousin to love her um, back. Like, she doesn't want to feel resented. Nobody wants to feel resented or avoided, obviously. And um, I think that's more of what she was feeling, but to a greater extreme. So, after all that, um, 
all he can say is sorry, and I'm like, oh shit, man, I'm like hugger or something. It just sucked. So, um, but then the episode ends very depressingly, and uh, this is like the only episode where I was like, no, don't end here, please keep going, please keep going. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the other episodes, but this one I really felt it. I was like, I want more of this drama shit. Keep going, keep going. But, um, you know, the other ones made had a satisf satisfied endings, but this one I just wanted to keep seeing what was going on. So, um, I guess I just like to eat up drama. But, anyway, it ended there, and, um, yeah, so that's it. <laughs> I do not have a question for the audience this time, so see ya.